Welcome back, comrades, here to a nice ship of the line at the shores of Brussels that we actually had uh, roaming around here. And that is full of bricks. We could have unloaded those bricks. We've sent them over quite probably a lot of episodes ago. Um, so, yeah, let's unload them so we can have a nice depot um, and store some more timber. That makes uh, upgrading easier. Um, where are the depots? I think they're over here, aren't they? Yes. So we could actually have them... Yeah, we could have them in multiple locations, obviously. Um, let's have them over here somewhere. Can we have that? No. Up there? I mean, those shores are very narrow. I think... We might have them. We can have a lot of fisheries over there. So let's have them over here. Those depots. Like that. Three of them. And let's also build them right away. Yeah, the ship is clipping through. That's even though it's not a clipper. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, can we actually have some harbor decorations over here as well? Yes, we can. And we can have a big lighthouse, which is great. Let's have it up here in front. Wonderful. Looking, looking great. I like that. I actually might want to have that in Manola as well. Harbor crane. We can have that right here next to next to the trading post. And some skiffs like that. Yeah, we can have that. Um, what else would we like to have? A warehouse? Yeah, that doesn't fit anymore. A little pavilion. A little lamp. Actually, let's remove those roads that we have over here and get some lamps in or something. Crates of goods. No. Can we have small crates or something? Can we have something like that? Loaded barge? No. Fish traps. Canvas crates. They're all too big. Let's have a lamp again. Oh, let's have this one. No, let's have the small one. We can have it like that. Admiral. No, Admiral. I didn't want to have it like that. Can I not move it? Yes, I can. Oh yeah, we can only have it that way. All right. Good. Let's have it like that, and then let's have a tree in the middle. Why not? No, we cannot have a tree in the middle. Oh Jesus Christ! All right. Let's just have a regular old paving in the middle like that then good all right let's build all of those just for some decorations over here looking a little bit nicer let's check the expedition Uncertain shores. and yeah use diplomacy and then use force and then lose <laughs> all right <laughs> uh, it's okay. Um, now we can unload the rest of the bricks, and we also sent a ship over to get some more ship timber over here. In. Even though, let's leave some timber over here because we want to build some depots over here as well. We don't have any depots. Why don't we have any depots? That's really bad. Um, let's build them on the back of the pier over here. Actually, that fits. I like that. Does that fit as well? No, it doesn't. I don't like that. Let's move all of it by a bit so we can have some depots in here or at least one and another one. And then let's build some of them. And let's also have road connection. And some decoration as well. Let's go. Let's uh, go with uh, some decoration let's actually go with yeah the bridge doesn't make sense at all let's, we could go with some barrels and some crates and the loaded barge we could we could have that i like that let's have that that's looking good basically like a temp temporarily temp a temporary storage like that yeah, looking nice. Looking nice. All right. Uh, what I wanted to do as well is we do have a lighthouse already over here, which is great. 
Can we have some other things? Um, maybe limp. I mean, we could have a pavilion. We could also go with another loaded barge or moored freighter. Yeah, I like that. Let's have that like that. And then let's have some some lamps. Like so. Looking good. Looking good. And we can also below the steepers now. So we do have the storage. That's actually a huge island storage over here. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we do that. have our Conquer 2, our clipper over here, to get over some wood to Aguerera, nay, Aguarda. And. We do have enough building material though to upgrade those two warehouses, which I wanted to do anyways. And then let's also have our boxit mine over here and our first uh, warehouse and some charcoal cones. Actually, our bro was Stand working the there. No. And then we're going to yeah have this one as well. And then we're going to have our first row of, of smelters. Okay, we have one smelter. <laughs> Should How be enough thrilling. for now. A um, has arrived. Bishop, very good. Even though we don't have churches, so it doesn't matter. Uh, what we also need, I didn't build that yet, is alpaca wool and uh, yeah, alpaca uh, ponchos. And also rum. We need more rum, definitely. So let's uh, do the rum first, even though Hugo will be mad at us. But I uh, don't care, even though I should, because we don't have a good uh, reputation with them. But we need to supply our people with uh, rum, otherwise they are rioting, because we don't get any churches. And actually, actually Hugo, Hugo is mad at me building churches, and he's mad at me building alcohol production, so he really wants uh, our people to be unhappy. I mean, he's an anarchist, he doesn't care, but it does make sense on, on the one hand. But that's not how I can lead my socialist utopia over here. That's probably not that much of a utopia. All right, let's have those uh, sugarcane productions and then we go with, yeah, rum distilleries. We can have one in there, another one. And another one. It's actually fitting quite well. Then we would have to align those kitchens on this side, which is okay. Let's have another w rum production over here. Um, it's actually we could ha actually have it up here as well. And we're going to have a warehouse. Let's actually check how we would. Or we would align the roads like that, probably. And we don't have enough timber again. The timber is is getting really annoying, but we do get some over with a clipper. Ready for a challenge. We are almost there, so that's good. Next thing we need, we can blueprint that out as well now, is alpaca farms. And I do want to use the silo setup because we do have the corn. So let's copy paste it from over here. Like that. And then use it in Aguera. Probably up here like that. Yeah, I like that. And then we can have the poncho donors right next to the room, the sitters. No, we cannot because they're too big. All right, let's have them here then, right next to the farms. Like that. And yeah, we can build, we can build at least some rum distilleries over here. What we can also have, let's move, let's move those by a little bit over here and actually this road aligns nicely and in there we are going to have another fire station because we do have some rum distilleries over here and yeah they uh, 
work with alcohol and big machinery, so it's probably uh, a big fire hazard. Not only probably, it is a big fire hazard. What we also need is timber. Uh, no, not a timber, a wood production. So let's have that over there. So we can make the casks for the... For the rum! We want a nice aged rum in a in a big barrel so we need some wood for that good i think we are we are getting there with our supply of the people and that means we can have more houses once we have the timber so let's unload the timber though what we also want is some depots even though we do have a bigger storage over here why is that oh probably because we upgraded some houses some warehouses, I mean. Um, so where are we going to put our depots? I think over here. Yes, like that. Looking lovely. And yeah, we're going to have it like that. And then we're going to connect that up. You are going to move up here. Up here probably, because you are anyway a harbor protection. Uh, an, an influence wise cheap harbor protection and uh, what else can we have we can have some barrels in here no nothing dry duct skiffs yeah that actually makes sense next to fishery let's have that like that oh no we cannot have that we cannot have that because we need the road we do need road access to over here. And then we can only have some lamps, probably. Yeah. Like that. Let's have that, though. That looks looks good. Can we actually change? No, we cannot. A bleak land. Yeah, actually. Let's, let's have a few at night, actually. I mean, those lamps do a little bit. They they have a little effect that's actually not looking bad. Um, let's build those depots. And then we can have more fisheries in front of it, you know? Because we might need them for the kitchens. Even though probably at the moment we're quite good, uh, plantains-wise. But uh, you never know. Alright, let's go ahead, let's have the alpaca farms and the ponchodernus build. I want to build the uh, fire station next. We don't Just have say the word. Uh, bricks though. So let's get some bricks over from Manola again. I really would like uh, something closer, like a pier up here. Let's have a pier up here. Uh, can we build one? Yes, we can. Alright, let's have one. Let's actually have more than one. Free harbor area needed. Yeah, we do have free oh, harbor area, don't we? Expedition. Can we have three of them? I would really like to. Yes, we can. That's lovely. Alright, let's have a road. So it looks like something at least. Let's actually connect this up. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> I did good thing. Very good. I like that. Right, let's have all those piers over here. It's probably closer than than using that over there. Rescue mission, not going to do that. And let's send the Yeah, let's send the ship over to our piers that we've built and let's actually have a pier later on this beach up here as well, because then we are much quicker with the transport. Um yeah, up there. With a little road connection just for the sake of having it and actually it makes more sense if it's connected to the to the mainland otherwise how are the goods going to be transported from the pier to the island it's not necessary but i think it's it's uh, looking nicer let's actually have it connected up to the to the island and we can actually have a little warehouse no let's not have a little warehouse it's only money um, maybe later we are going to have a little bit of production up here. What do we have over there? Bauxite. Ah, okay. Talking of which, we want more bauxite production. 
And now we're short on obreros, so we need more obreros. But we, we cannot fine. get them because we're short on ponchos. I see a pattern there. How is actually the supply of... Can we upgrade this? No. How is the supply of corn looking? Because we need it for the silos. Corn is looking good. All right. Let's actually pause Wise those smelters because of the workforce. Yeah, let's pause all of them. Um, oh, we don't even have a have a warehouse over here for this lumberjack. Let's change that. Let's have one over there. And we do have enough timber, so yeah, let's have more Ronaleros. I think the uh, poncho production should be up and running. Yes, looking good. We only need to wait uh, for them to produce enough, so it's going to be all right. Ship has arrived. Uh, getting some building materials and going to deliver it down here. What else do we actually need for the pier? Do we only need bricks and timber? Yes, we do. 50 tons of bricks, that's a lot. But yeah. Let's check the population if something has changed uh, on the Ronanero side. Yeah, we are 30 now. Um, so yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. We need basically only 1000 more. So we will get, uh, we will get there. We will have enough people. That's great. Let's have, uh, for example, some more guys living here, and then let's uh, now check the um, let's now check the production and the consumption over here because now it's going to yeah, it's going to be bad. Um, how's the rum looking? Actually, we do have a rug for that. Um, that is somewhere down there. This one is it. We get five tons over and we consume eight a minute. So we should at least get eight over. Except, except because probably it's taking a little bit longer than a minute for the ship to get from Brussels to Pueblo, Pueblo Labriola. Yes, that was a word. The, the, the name of the city, I mean. Uh, good, we need more ponchos. Can we go with silos? No, we cannot. All right, let's double the production then. Uh, like so. And have two more poncho darners here like that. We do have not enough timber again. <laughs> I've poured everything into the houses and now I don't have enough anymore. Good, let's have a banana plantations. Um, over here, yeah, the back uh, on the mountain side. Those are special mountain bananas. Very tasty. Only to get in Brussels over here. Oh, Brussels, probably. Bru Brussels. Named after Paul Bruce, as far as I remember. Um, so, Brussels, probably. Okay, we need... Yeah, that would actually work. It looks a little bit weird, but uh, yeah, it'll be alright. And uh, we cannot have that. And we should also upgrade this... Um, this trading post, and we should build another... Another uh, harbor building over here, like a warehouse, I mean, not a harbor building. We do have more timber, that's good. Um, let's have those build. Uh, why, why did I build those? <laughs> uh, I could have built this one. Um, we need more kitchens as well. Three more, right? One, two, three. While we're at it, let's, yeah, let's upgrade those this warehouse and then let's have another banana plantation and another kitchen and actually let's speed it up a little bit over here so we can have some more timber 
for another banana plantation because the food is actually a, a really big issue. The rum we can get over from uh, Pueblo Labriola, but we actually might want to build another rum production over here, I think. Let's actually have one. Uh, one more or two more, maybe. Uh, let's have a warehouse over here. Over there, like that. One final look. And then let's have two sugarcane plantations over here. Let's take a look at the newspaper. We're going to edit this one out, save a little bit on the influence. And our. There's always a smooth price for all of this. Our uh, money is still looking Things good. Are hard right, I think teams. we have to move those by one over there. So we can have a rum distillery in here, like that. And actually like that, let's move them over by one as well, again. Actually we might have to move this back so we can actually have some fields for the second one. Like that. This space over here is wasted, that's annoying. Let's not do that, let's, let's not waste this space. Let's do like that. And then we can have some fields over here, which is great. And we're going to have fields over here like this. And then this one is going to have its fields like so. All right, let's go ahead. And let's actually have a woodcutter back here. No, let's not have it back here. Let's have it back there. Um, so yeah, connect it to the city, and then let's have a yeah, let's have it built first, and then let's see where we can fit another warehouse down there. Looking good. Looking good. How is everything looking with you? You're short on plantains. Why is that? Production? Yes, you are actually. Are we producing enough raw materials and only are uh, missing a kitchen? No. <laughs> okay. Good. So we need another plantains production. And let's have more fisheries up here. Having a warehouse over there, connecting it to the road. one fishery and then we need a banana plantation and another kitchen so let's have the banana plantation over here oh actually this one doesn't have access to a warehouse now you have um would it be smarter to have this one over there maybe All right. i expect no less from a blue bottle Actually, that's not a very good area to have <laughs> the plantation because the lumberjacks are affected, but it's okay. Um, like that. Now we have the bananas, we have the fish oil, and then we need another kitchen. Let's have the kitchen up here next to the fish oil uh, production, and it can it can get its bananas from the plantation down there. We can actually put a little bit of brick road down like that should be fine good now we should have enough timber up here yes we do let's have the last plantation and kitchen let's actually upgrade this one and let's now not upgrade the trading post because i upgraded this one we should be should be fine now shouldn't we at least poncho and plantains wise yes we are and we are good on the rum probably as well Attention for the Admiral. Good. Looking good. Let's get back to Aguada. Because we want Still to upgrade to more Honoleros to Obreros. So we can have the workforce for our aluminum production that we wanted to get rid of in Minoda. Now we need some coffee. And I wanted to put some coffee in there, but we don't have that space now. So let's put some... Uh, production uh, factories in there like the coffee roaster 
like that and then we will have to have the plantation somewhere else maybe over here let's have we can actually have it over here let's try that let's try if we can fit those fields just around the lumberjacks like that we do it's need quite a lot of fields but uh, I think that might be working <laughs> it's so fun to uh, just squeeze them around the areas that I needed for the lumberjacks and it actually worked uh, that's so good all right let's do the same thing over here again all right like that and then we can just put those in like that And now we have two coffee plantations working at 100%. And now we can ha have the coffee roaster as well. So we get some nice coffee. Happiness wise, they are happy. They might need the beer once we get over 600, which we are actually about to do. Uh, that's a problem because then we also need bonbons. I don't want to provide them in the first place. And also the beer. Uh, which would mean probably that we need a hacienda anyways to provide some beer. I mean, we can do that. We have over here the place. Let's have a hacienda over there and then provide some beer if we need to. And the bombings, yeah, we can live with that. That's, that's going to be all right. We do have more workforce we though, no? Catch the so future standing still. we can uh, have some aluminum production. Actually, all of them. Let's build those as well. Yeah, we're almost almost there. And then we can actually finally get rid of the aluminum production in Manola, which was our goal in the first place. And we're actually looking good on the production. So yeah, let's wait until the coffee sinks in. We need 50 more people. That brings us over the mark of 600 obreras. So we will need to have an hacienda to provide some brewery. Uh, beer and be a bro to provide some beer and to be able to build some breweries that's what I wanted to say actually let's uh, yeah, have a road and then have the hacienda a little bit further back and we can actually make it a little bit prettier this time and we can also add a little hedge maybe Yes, we can, which is great. We could also provide a paved road. And then let's have the Hacienda in the next episode. What, what we can do now is have some, some more field and some pavings. That's nice. Uh, Hacienda Jonalero, no, Atista Quarta, Storeroom, Farm, there we go. We need some farms, so let's have three of them. We might need more, we definitely need more. But luckily they don't need many fields, do they? problem is how do I access those farms I actually have to move them back by one because then I can actually have this hatch yes I want to destroy those fields and we're going to yeah attach it like that and then have a warehouse in here like so and then we're going to have the hedge up to there and now we can put in those those fields. We can put some more in over here because we need to. Actually, let's get rid of one corner over here. And squeeze that in over there. But that's something we are going to do in the next episode. Thanks very much for watching. And see you next time when we 
Get some beer going again. Now we reach a new milestone. No, that won't be you. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.